Hey y'all, this is Chris with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Uh, today we just wanted to talk about a little bit about body language. Um, so we've got a new intake scout, a uh, German Shepherd puppy. Um, she's got some high levels of insecurity. So we just want to show you guys some uh, some things to look out for as far as dog body language goes that would that can kind of indicate insecurity and things like that. Um, so <clears throat> just kind of hooking her up here. We just just literally just picked her up. So she has not been to the property or anything like that. This is her, her first time there so this is something we do with all the dogs that come into canine revolution dog training um, it's kind of an intake observation so we bring them in we take them to the potty area just see what their reactions are so you can see right here she's very timid about the cameraman so notice on her back uh, by her shoulder blades the hair is raising up all the way down her spine those are called hackles right so this is a uh, this can be an indicator of surprise um, but in this case this is definitely an indication of uh, insecurity so notice her tail positioning her tail is very very lower um, you know, it's not quite tucked, but it is pretty, it's pretty lowered. There is a little curl at the end of it. Um, if it were tucked, we would obviously, that's an, a clear sign of insecurity. But, but the, the positioning of her tail being lowered is, uh, is clearly an uh, um, indicator of, of insecurity. So now we're passing by uh, old Jojo here. So she's interested, uh, but still showing some insecurity. Hackles went back up even a little bit more. Um, other thing that we look at is ear positioning. So a lot of times, um, you know, we haven't seen it here with scouts yet, but her ears are kind of moving back and forth. That's, that's usually just an indicating they're, they're kind of trying to register information, listen out for different sounds, things like that. But uh, another sign of insecurity would be uh, ears pinned back. So if the ears are pinned laying down, that's a good sign of insecurity or fearful behavior, things like that. <clears throat> Again, we haven't seen that yet here with, with scout. So now we're taking her here to our... Uh, our potty area just let her see if she needs to go to the bathroom but there's also all sorts of other scents from all the various different dogs so we just kind of want to see uh, what her reaction is going to be uh, to that and and pretty much what we're seeing is not a lot of change look at her tail right there a little bit of change it tucked it didn't go all the way underneath her legs but uh but it tucked a little bit more than what it had been um, so we're not seeing any major changes, but definitely, I mean, we can see clear as day, she's insecure, right? So some of the, some of the issues that um, we deal, that the owners <clears throat> dealt, deal with with her are barking, um, especially at like moving objects, people running, uh, skateboarders, kids, right? So a lot of high energy stuff, she's barking at it and the hackles are raising up, stuff like that. So as we immerse her in the structure, this is going to address this insecurity. It's going to build her confidence uh, for the long term. And so uh, we'll probably have a video on her later on so you guys can kind of check in and see how she's doing. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of show you some uh, some intake observations. And again, another one right there so she wouldn't take any food from me. That's, a, that's also an indication she's a little bit insecure. So, um, But yeah, appreciate you guys tuning in.